Hello and welcome to season two of the Money Talks, and this is episode fifteen. If you're counting down from episode one, and it is my absolute pleasure, and I'm so excited that we get to start season two with somebody who actually started the second innings of my career, uh, Mr. Anil Joshi. Anil Joshi is a man who hardly needs any introduction, but let me try to introduce him nonetheless. Uh, Anil is was the president of Mumbai Angels. He is known for leading some amazing deals for Mumbai Angels. Uh, after that, he now heads a fund which is now in its uh, fifth year of operation, Unicorn India Ventures. Unicorn has just raised its second fund uh, and has invested in twenty uh, five deals. Uh, other than that, Anil himself has a very rock star kind of a portfolio, which we'll definitely get into during the show. But uh, before we do any of that, Anil, welcome, welcome to the Money Talks. I am so excited to have you here. Thank you, Narod. I am equally excited. Uh, my my voice is audible. Yeah, absolutely. We can hear you. So, no, my e- equal pleasure. I always enjoy you know spending time with you, and uh, in your talk show, it will be more fun. <laughs> look, look, look forward to spending one good hour. Absolutely, I, I, and I hope to make it very, very. Uh, you know, like I said, even during, before the show, we'll keep it conversational, just like how we were in Goa, right? And 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 just have have random talks here, there, everywhere, and and we'll end it with a rapid fire with something. You know, I wish I could have done when I was when you were at Mumbai Angels, but today I get that chance. <laughs> sure, look forward. So, Anil, let's talk. Let's start here. I, I, so, first of all, talk about you know. Obviously, you you uh, started the micro VC journey pretty much in India, which is setting up uh, you know your first hundred crore fund. Uh, yeah. And you didn't even come from this background. You you know you're not a finance major. You didn't have any background really in finance coming up. But to then to go ahead and do a fund, right? What was the thought process like? Yeah, tell us tell us what Unicorn India Ventures does and and its positioning and and your role in it. I'm an engineer. <laughs> exactly. You're an engineer. I'm saying finance, but you don't come from a hardcore finance kind of background. No, so uh, Anirudh, that's very interesting. Uh, my journey, you know, has been full of accidents. Uh, you know, bringing me up to here. Uh, typical. During our days, any engineer, you know, wanted to work with top three, you know, uh, large engineering company like of L and T, Reliance, SR. SR was also one of the names. right uh, you know any engineer would want to you know get a campus uh, done but uh, i think destiny has something else stored in uh, for me so uh, i did my management after my engineering uh, of course i had a small stint of one year on shop floor but then you know i i felt that i'm not cut for a typical mm. you know engineering job so I landed up doing management uh, was groomed to take up you know profit center position was placed in you know funny but so i joined my first job was with uh, bk birla group uh, you know century round century text right it's, it's, it's in a, marketing uh, yeah it, i'm in marketing so it's in 100% subsidiary of you know uh, century textile so uh, i was placed in funny but uh, looking after haryana market and also got additional responsibility for uh, punjab but after spending 3 years you know i moved back to mumbai after my marriage and so, uh, you know took up on a uh, job uh, which was with a scandinavian business development consultancy and that you know exposed me to you know european culture of working so i was mm-hmm. largely involved in in hardcore you know business development for uh, companies from uh, norway sweden finland uh, denmark worked there for two years got exposed to you know several industries you know some of things which were very advanced and uh, felt like going back to industry uh, joined transasia biomedical which is country's leading diagnostic company and i was lucky to join chairman's office uh, assisting him on sales and marketing both domestic and international that time company was you know uh, was in its early days so got exposed to you know some rapid growth you know opportunity absolutely and by virtue of my position i also got exposed to several other aspects of business right so very few get you know so many time you have asked me about you know uh, my acumen on legal or taxation or finance right it's it doesn't you know came from my academics but you know i actually you know got opportunity to work on you know several deals which involved going through you know big financial numbers uh, you know legal documents both national uh, international and we also had joint ventures so that exposed me to several aspects of business right so i started picking up 
you know ropes of business too early in life other than my core strength and uh, worked there two years uh, that actually moved me to arkion ventures uh, which is in into telecom it and anil your volume i think is a little low there's some people coming in and saying sorry yeah. sorry sorry so so from you know trans asia biomedical i moved to arkion uh, ventures uh, which is you know a diversified business in into telecom it energy and i had a you know dual role there uh, one was to you know uh, uh, take care of newer initiatives uh, for group companies so meaning you know any any new jv or expansion of new product or market you know i i would initiate it and hand over and move out to next assignment and the second role was you know uh, making strategic investment anywhere around half a mil to two mil kind Oh, wow. and uh, you know this was early 2000 and even i didn't knew that you know this is this would be this would be what we would be calling now you know angel investment or i know investment, right? and half a million is a lot of money back in 2000 those days it was quite big money those days it yeah. was quite big money now if i look at uh, from that perspective it could be easily 2 mil you know single check and uh, exactly. you know so i got, in got, oh first first deal was very interesting you know i had no idea you know some three you know uh, you know uh, very you know sluggish balance sheet came on my table with a note you know please evaluate and you know we landed up investing in that you know i looked up you know balance sheets all negatives went to you know uh, you know their office which was in you know one of the you know uh, this you know uh, textile mills of mumbai right those uh-huh. complexes older one not the newer one right not like kamla mill or you know phoenix but older one and uh, you know you know they were doing something very exceptional uh, you know those days 2000 digital marketing nobody has no idea in, in fact mm-hmm. today also many people have no idea about digital marketing and Absolutely. we landed and we landed up investing in that company and uh, to you know share with you i think that one investment gave us handsome return i think we made almost 14 15 times of that investment wow and this is 2000 right. wow 2000 2000 we invested uh, so those were the days you know when i got exposed and these were all hard hard learnings right it's it's not that somebody taught me but you know so that was from early 2000 till you know uh, mid of 2000 when mumbai angel started uh, indian angel started and by what few of you know our active involvement in you know those investments which we called strategic investment we were the early members and you know my that experience actually led me you know start contributing actively you know uh, in mumbai angel so from 2006 till 2010 i i helped closing several transactions for mumbai angel and but you were, and, you, were you were part of the team or just as a member no, no, i was one of the investor member acha acha okay so used to invest used to invest those days we were so that even you don't know right <laughs> yeah I, i i this is all news to me i am like <laughs> so so so, so we why did this come up in goa is what i'm asking <laughs> so we so we invested in couple of deals i helped closing so when i took up mumbai angel role the total portfolio size of mumbai angel was just eight companies right i see uh, in in, yeah, in, I, in right like on average investing one two three companies so uh, 2010 when i joined it was i think total portfolio of 8 uh, and then i added up 6 before joining so it became 14 and from there wow. i took it to 75 uh, when 2014 i moved out right so so Anil, you, before we get into that before we get into that i have a few questions about this journey and and especially because you know so i come from the us mindset right and obviously you you also was exposed to the european mindset and i think in india we have this uh, notion that the ea role is somehow you know a, a very low level role that has no value like there was an admin staff but versus in the us and and i know in uk like we used to lobby to become an ea right because that meant you were an apprentice under the top guy so maybe for a couple of minutes you could just talk about you know the value of being an ea and to the cmd and how it's helped in your career you were just talking about it but what thoda skim kar gaye thoda sa thoda sa deeply bol se you could go a little deeper into it so, so when i took this role of ea many people thought i have become yeah. pa exactly that's that is what most people believe you know like in india they don't understand the power the ea role has very true so so you know so when when i was you know offered this position i was you know very much in double mind because one you know ea is not understood in india still it's not understood right in many cases you know i am introduced to ea 
and uh, ea2 you know uh, cxo level uh, you know mm. and, and uh, when i check up because see i my, myself having you know uh, have done that role when i talk to them i realize you know it's basically you know glorified secretary yeah right personal assistant who's taking care of your diary who's taking care of your you know emails uh, bookings and all those but ea is is something which is actually you know you uh, you know uh, get groomed to take up you know some sbu head position right this is typically done uh, i think uh, av birla group have you know uh, fairly <clears throat> or even you know some other good organization even reliance right mukesh uh, ambani is i think 6 years if i'm not wrong so that's how that's how normally they take up you know lot of eas and each ea is responsible for a particular you know vertical so if see a 6 eas each six would be responsible for one of the vertical in organization and right? one would be for telecom one would be for reliance sorry uh, retail one would be for oil one would be for you know uh, you know finance so it's it's you know a very specific role where you know you become i ear and and you know like like for a chairman right <clears throat> everything you know before it of course i'm not saying every confidential but you know you you become you know shadow of chairman right yeah and that's that's groom you you know so i actually started you know getting my grooming done you know when i joined transasia biomedical right before that i was just involved in line function i was good what i was doing uh, i was i was one of the you know i'll not say best but good consultant uh, cracked you know so many deals for organization when i was in sales i was you know uh, i consider myself to be you know fairly good sales guy but when i came to this position i realized under you know, that role was very different right so ea uh, as you rightly said is a very important position and uh, you know this this rose oh my god from where you got this picture <laughs> <laughs> i think we got it from your ear rays <laughs> no pe- people will get confused right so 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 <laughs> so so ea is a very important position and you know uh, that actually exposed me to you know nuances of businesses too early in life right i know the kind of you know mistakes i i made and the way you know i got exposed to you know those those traits i think i am lucky right this was accidental you know uh, you know uh, opening for me which i took up in fact before taking up this role i checked with my uh, uh, you know a class uh, you know uh, mate and and he said anil this position is basically you know helicopter view of business right you are you are you are not in business but helicopter view of business and if you are fine with that and you know getting groomed for something important in couple of couple of years time then that that's role you know you should take up so i took a i took a you know a challenge and uh, got into it and you know let me tell you and it was i never regretted i never regretted because today you know where i am you know that one step have played a very important role in my life right in normal circumstances the background i came from i was you know i think not at all fit for ea's position in diagnostic industry like absolutely having spent, having spent you know shop floor and then textile sales and then business development consultant you know have nothing to do with you know uh, diagnostic right so i think many time you would have seen me you know uh, giving my inputs you know for deals which come from health tech medtech i think this come from my grooming on those you know uh, those days and in fact i'm going to get into that when we talk about mumbai angels and, and at least me observing you right sure, sure. Uh, so before, but you know i i, I guess uh, please please go ahead you know, just, just to add on right like before even you know this diagnostic thing happen i got exposed to some eight nine industries right which were not too new to india again you know uh, and and being a consultant as you have spent time in us you know how you know what kind of you know groundwork preparation you have to do for bringing any you know uh, foreign company right real business i'm not talking about making those you know 60 pages report but we were doing yeah. you know, real real dhanda right hardcore on, on on the ground hardcore, yeah. hardcore. so so that's how you know i i actually you know uh, uh, i accidentally got groomed for so many you know uh, industry which i never realized that it will be useful to me now right uh, somebody mm. talks about nanotechnology uh, i think i got exposed to nanotechnology much you know 5 6 years before when we people started talking about nanotechnology right so <laughs> so yeah so, it, it, you know, it truly so accidents, have helped, accidents have helped me in life 
it, it's so you know the funny thing is that Anil, you and I, although we've not really talked about this in the past, after knowing each other for such a long time, have a very I similar know. pathway I because I was. I know I'm giving you a lot of masalas for next visit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But to, to be truthful, I too was sort of an EA, although it was, you know called the national sales lead. But I was an EA to my CEO, and I'm telling you that the things you kind of learn from because you know you learn everything, even how to position contracts to clients, right? And how to do it, right? When you're coming from that level, correct. It, it absolutely explodes your mind, right? I mean, it's it's Correct. far beyond what you ever get ex exposed to. Correct. So I mean, I, I, it, it's it's amazing how both of us have that kind of a common uh, common background, you know, which is why we, I, we probably like each other so much. You you have started liking. I'm sure you will have episode two also. <laughs> absolutely, we'll we'll do that for sure. Coming back for sure. But no, let, so let's talk about Mumbai Angels, right? So, so yeah, I, sure. I, obviously today I found out you were actually part of ME for four years as an investor member, and then you became. Part of the team. So, what was that decision? Why, why, why go from the investor side now? Suddenly, you're on the services side of the business. So, again, you know, let me take liberty to use this word accident, right? Uh, you know, so I was, you know, very well placed in my job. Uh, I was, you know, as a professional, I was growing, you know, uh, handsomely in my 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 role. I was getting groomed. In fact, I was getting additional responsibility at I think one given moment of time. I was handling four projects. I'm not talking about projects, sake of project, but these were you know live investments, right? Which I was involved, uh, uh, and uh, you know that was giving me different kind of kick, right? Uh, but having spent four years, uh, you know, and and helping investing in startups, I realized that you know uh, by virtue of what I had been doing since you know early 2000. I at least know what it is, right? Uh, from the perspective of investment, from the perspective of you know identifying opportunity, from the perspective of you know managing investments post you know investment, right? Absolutely. So 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 you know I you know uh, started getting you know uh, feelers that this industry is you know is just emerging, and there were you know very few people. In fact, if you remember me, uh, in fact you know. Uh, you know your younger brother. Uh, you know Animesh intend with us, and and you know you know uh, I think I'm sure even he would have gained you know those you know six eight ten weeks he spent with us. But what I realized that you know when it came to you know uh, normal business people were fabulous, but when it came to new age business. And investing in India was, you know, you know, was just getting started, right? So, so the so the kind of you know opportunity which was emerging, right? Uh, and when when this role was offered to me, you know, uh, in fact, I was the first professional who took, you know, uh, you know, challenge to take up that position, right? Uh, in fact, you know, I had a, I had a, you know, uh, I think longish discussion with with you know. Uh, both Prashant and Shasha before you know getting into shoes of you know uh, Mumbai Angels uh, active role uh, and uh, you know it was kind of you uh, know uncomfortable situation one because Mumbai Angel that those days was you know structured as a no profit organization right mm -hmm. and uh, uh, you know I was almost you know I, I would not say at peak but I was at a you know, you know fairly decent stage of growth of my you know professional career so that that switch from you know professional life to a non-profit organization in an industry where professionals were not even thinking of no. So today, if you look at everybody want to be in startup space, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. This is we're talking 2020, and uh, in 2010, when I took you know uh, <laughs> role, you know of uh, you know head of Mumbai Angels, I, I have not shared this with many people, but the people who were very close to me called up and said you know i hope everything is fine in your life right uh, if you mm -hmm. if you need some introductions to you know get a proper opening let us know so that wow <laughs> so, that, so that you know we can get you placed and you know you know you, you can you can choose because see you know i had i had you know touched you know so many you know uh, you know heads of organization by virtue of my role at artheon or otherwise you know, people knew. You know what I was was. You know, uh, you know probably was capable of doing right. So angel investment, nobody knew about it. 
right in fact you know uh, angel word as you know uh, have a you know different connotation as such right uh, so so people thought you know where are you getting into you know there is no future you know at that time even startup was nothing right we used to talk about angel investments right startup yeah, exactly. came a buzzword after you know uh, startup india stand up india you know mm-hmm. you know mo- movement started by pm but before that it was you know early stage investments right uh, we were we were only referring it to deals you know funded by angel investors there was nothing called startup those days right vc so, we not called vc actually vcs there were few vcs uh, you know all were foreign vcs the yeah. uh, even even seed fund you know was structured overseas right it was uh, bloom was bloom was the first indian vc which has raised domestic money so i started my career with mumbai angels and bloom started bloom ventures right karthik and mm. uh, we both started all same sanjay. Time, right sanjay and karthik right so so you know those days you know angels you know were not known angel investment was not known startup was you know was was not was not known or was not there everybody thought you know uh, uh, i am getting into some kind of you know uh, unknown territory people understood mutual fund people understood stock exchange but nobody understood what is angel investment right so so that was an accidental entry and uh, i have no regrets right so i was very much aware what i am getting into uh, and uh, my journey started wo- with you know building the organization right i think you had visited mumbai angels early office how we started right yeah, absolutely uh, you know, with 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 no employees you know to a full fledged team and then you know building portfolio from 14 to 65 getting in with banquets as well remember yeah 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 and, and i am right or i so huh, indian merchant in- Indian Merchant Chamber were doing more for follow-on meetings, but correct. Now, but the Bahadur, then you go there, right? So, uh, and it was very democratic process which people loved, right? And we were very careful in in you know selecting members. Uh, you know, uh, you know members were you know like like we were very categorical in in you know onboarding members, right? Uh, uh, so that actually you know made us it more vibrant. We were very careful bringing diversity. uh that's the reason the kind of portfolio we were able to build was only because you know we had we had you know uh, investors you know who came from different backgrounds and we kept on involving right we always encouraged mem- members you know to to you know spend time you know with us in in shortlisting in in you know identifying engaging so 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 that's what it is so my you know accidental entry happened into this space because of my role at arthion ventures And, so, and so you know it's very interesting piece right so we became member uh, i remember you know sushil ji took up the membership because shasha visited once our office i still remember i was working in my cabin shasha just you know typically you know shasha how he comes and how yeah. he came in he spoke <laughs> he went out and you know after a couple of weeks you know i was i was called by you know uh, sushil ji our chairman and you know uh, he said and we have taken up you know this one membership you know this is this is you know investors club uh, called mumbai angels and uh, you know they meet every you know uh, second or uh, second tuesday i guess or mm. third tuesday is saturday right and you know you should you should go go and you know check what it is if you like it continue otherwise you know there's there's no compulsion right so so i said abhi boss ne bola hai to to jana to padega right that was my weekend right week of weekly off saturday right uh, second saturday was the so with very heavy heart you know i i went to you know, <laughs> so you know i went to you know mumbai angels my first meeting i think that was the time when inmobi you know uh, check was handed no, m coach i think Hmm. right so so on one side you know there was if i'm not wrong whether it was navin or amit gupta uh, one of them were there you know to exchange you know uh, documents and t- collect check and this meeting was getting organized so I, i i went that was happening at you know that you know one which is at you know this uh, opera house uh, hmm. you know i don't remember the name of the place but that was the first time i went in and when i went in i thought you know this is something which i am doing day in day out and uh, mm-hmm. the people in the room other than shasha and second prashant you no know, very few had you know uh, idea what was happening right i am not undermining but, knowledge but you can you could sense right what it is right you yourself now vc you would understand the way things are getting evolved right so so you know I, and i'd been doing that for last 5 years right so so for, for me first meeting i realized was ye to hum to roz karte hain isko to 
मतलब आई स्टार्टेड आस्किंग सम क्वेश्चन पीपल स्टार्टेड इन्वॉल्विंग मी देन दे सेड वाई डोंट यू यू नो टेक अप दिस केस आई सेड यार मतलब मैं कैसे ले सकता हूँ मेरा तो खुद का डे जॉब नो 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 इट्स नो कंपल्शन राइट यू 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 जस्ट रीड तो इन 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 यू नो इन इन दैट सेंस आई गॉट इन्वॉल्व एंड वैन वैन आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग डील uh you know people started asking me started taking my views and then you know i landed a closing deal after deal for mumbai angels and some of my initial deals with mumbai angels were very complex very complex like like i can comfortably say had i not taken up those deals would have never got closed right so 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 that actually you know led me to uh, mumbai angel right some of your photographs on mumbai angels days you see slowly slowly my my hairline has receded right <laughs> <laughs> but you know anil i, I mean I, I, I let me tell you that when i when i came to mumbai angels and you know i i used to obviously come for those meetings yeah. i used to always find you with as you know the guy who could who could who could make the seas meet right because yeah. you know you always had always always had the angels who were pretty much all business owners at that time and it was a very strong network Mumbai Angels was the first time I actually noticed the power of a network in angel investing. Okay. Right? Okay. Up to kya ki there are just too many unconnected members who don't know each other. And again, okay. not not to talk down to anyone, but there is a, there was a concept of a network. And I think okay. even in the members of Mumbai Angels when we meet today, we still reminisce those days when we used to meet at Mayfair banquet, okay. look at four deals, fill out a little form, and then after that have lunch together, right? And and but you know so so. Uh, But I've I've seen you so many times sitting at IMC when we when we would do the follow-on meeting, and there would be a large gap between what the entrepreneur wanted and what the investor was willing to offer, and and you would just say a few lines to both sides, and suddenly they would both agree, right? And I, that was a skill. I mean, I I have tried to imitate or emulate that skill for a very long time, and I don't think I'm there. But I I've always believed that I, when I saw that, I was like, man, this guy really knows how to get an entrepreneur on the table. and how to get the other side also on the table and that's a real real amazing skill like where did you get that and 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 what would you say to get both sides to you know agree so quickly see uh, so uh, anirudh you know before starting unicorn india ventures i always you know had been professional right i have not done single of you know venture of my own uh, i'm a first you know time entrepreneur right considering unicorn india ventures however you know uh, other than you know putting in my own money i have you know or i was involved with so many ventures which got started you know from scratch right mm. so when when you conceptualize you know uh, you know uh, any idea and when you work on it to make it happen lot of things goes in right and you know i still remember in fact i i had a chance to you know meet uh, you know uh, selender singh uh, you know md sikoya mm. this was in singapore during you know my my last last visit to singapore and you know i still resonate you know what he said anil he said anil you know like and like i asked him one one thing you know like what does make them look at you know any entrepreneur and how do they take decision to invest in right like of course you know several things goes in but very interesting thing selender told me that you know entrepreneur you know paints a canvas which is still white when he go out of room right right, right? so so he says you know you as a you know vc have to make an effort to see from the eyes of entrepreneur what he is painting right and if you are able to see what is painting then it it becomes easy for you to navigate or uh, to you know take a decision on investment no investment right that actually you know resonated with me what i had been doing you know for so many years that you know probably you know i you know probably or might have developed you know uh, skill sets to start seeing from eyes of entrepreneur right so when when that happens you know you can you know can start correlating it with business so you come up with you know so many ideas but you hmm. would say yaar is mein business sense nahi hai idea bahut acha hai banda bahut acha hai but business sense nahi hai and since i was involved with you know with so many real businesses where we, we were investing you know half a million 2 million kind of stuff you know i got actually you know uh, you know grounded with so many ground realities right i was involved in getting you know approvals i was involved in getting you know a uh, document stand through bureaucrats you know like you know when since you are doing project for in house you know you have different role and when you do as an investor you have different roles so i was doing both side of it right 
so when when you know i started meeting you know all these entrepreneurs and before they you know coming to you know mumbai angels meeting i would have spent a lot of time with them right understanding them and you have to you know uh, get into their shoes to you know to know or make an attempt to what they are trying to do actually right sure. unless unless until you 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 understand their their side of picture you know then you you start you know painting that white canvas with your own brush which is Makes still sense. not understood mm-hmm. by any right so so with with you know those kind of you know uh, early learnings actually helped me connecting the dots i am not saying i was always right but i i could also paint you know that white canvas and present it to both side and probably people were able to see you know uh, you know a picture on that white canvas you know what entrepreneur was trying to paint and you know what 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 investors were trying to see i think that's the you know only explanation i can give you uh, but that painting was you know from my eyes so i don't know how many would have gone right or wrong <laughs> but but we landed up investing well sir beauty lies in the eyes of the uh, eyes of, of the beholder at the end of the day but 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 i, I can definitely promise that you know i i think that was you you definitely were the glue right because when you know and i would I, what i also appreciate was that you, you would let both sides have their own talks and you would yeah. wait till the end never was let me control the conversation end to end True. you would like okay let both sides finish all the energy that they have now you are both done expanded now let me tell you exactly how this is going to happen and and that requires real skill and i, I mean I, i think that in many ways also inspired the kind of angel i wanted to be you know uh, and, and 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 that's i guess that's the next point you know i know you said that you took mumbai angels from let's say six deals to 75 deals right but what i really think you are also leaving out is that the fact that so many angel investors were built at ma who have gone on to do amazing things from there right you could talk about me you could talk about siddharth you could talk about so many of us who actually oh, were all Shrava, yeah and if kartik yeah. right so many so sanjay many. and and and, and, and uh, sanjay, sanjay mehta sanjay nath or mehta yeah all of us came from even tarana for example right it was Correct. was there as well Correct. Correct. And, and i and i think if you go out and see the impact these let's say the 40 or 50 of them have had on the ecosystem i think they could account pretty much for 80% of the entire deals that have happened koi na koi to one of them is involved in one of these deals for sure true true, true. Right? actively they were involved yes, which means you know like they talk about the flipkart gang maybe we should talk about the mumbai angels gang <laughs> right very, very true very true acha hai ki pura time will tell but of course you know it was there i mean how many unicorns right i mean we all have i mean you, you, yeah, your yeah. funds called unicorn but how many unicorns came out of those 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 uh, investors but what were what were your goals when you joined ma was it like you know i'm going to be here for the rest of my life or what am i going to do with ma so, so when i joined you know it was a no profit organization right mm-hmm. and uh, i think uh you know stand alone it never made a sense for a professional like me right i, I you can't run your house you know longer with a no profit organization unless until you have built you know your own bank balances so it was it was very clear that if mumbai angel you know uh, you know didn't in, it didn't didn't evolve you know like like that the journey wouldn't have been you know longer so like that's how i landed up spending you know 3 and a half 4 year as in professional capacity which in my view you know was a very decent stint you know by any professional in no profit organization right that too early in career of your life right uh but you know i w- was of always view like the organization like this need to get evolved now if you look at i'll give you three examples look at you know indian angels right mm. uh, uh they also were exactly you know similar situation and now they have their own fund which is 3 350 crore right run by the existing team i'm sure you know mumbai angel would be also on same track uh, you know uh, sooner or later we should hear about you know them having their own fund right the organization has to evolve otherwise they you know tend to be irrelevant with time right Correct. look at look at venture catalyst right uh, which which also started and, and then and then just couple of week back you know uh, i i i learned that you know apurva have also have done the, his first close of his first maiden fund right mm. so this all organizations are, are are evolving right so so uh, unfortunate you know when i was there this changes were not coming uh, people were not you know uh, were, were not you know uh, you know willing to take you know decisions you know that fast 
and i saw an opportunity which i took a, you know uh, took a, a risk and uh, moved out right so so that you know made me you know because that was a natural progression either i could have joined one of the you know another organization or i could have gone back to you know industry or uh, could have started my own but as you you know no this is very infectious right you just use word you know flipkart gang and mumbai angel gang you know you get infected to get you know something started with your own right i don't know how we could you know forget about amit grower i don't know if you had yeah. chance to meet him i think but, a lot of grower right but, but he is now you know serial entrepreneur right he he hmm. moved out he like immediately he moved out started his venture you know shut it started second venture and now probably maybe on his another venture right after a successful exit so so you know it so mumbai angel at, at least gave me courage to get started my own self right otherwise yeah. you know to to share with you you know i had a very lucrative job offer and that's from our industry right uh, uh and you know even after starting you know my fund and uh, having done first second close i got another very lucrative offer right uh, which uh, as a professional you know uh, you know like uh, we get so much tempted right money uh, you know uh, is also yeah. one of the factor right we all want to work for right uh, but then i i thought you know either it is today or it's never right i could i could take a you know decision to you know earn a very handsome you know that's i'm talking about in dollars right uh mm. and i'm talking about those days when you know people like us were still you know uh, you know aware handful right i'm so today the situation is different right we have so many aspiring and many more people much better much much better than me right but i'm talking about those days when you know there were very few you know, people you know whom you could connect you can resonate and you can say at least let's take chance right so i yeah. i had you know wonderful offer but then then i thought if i i you know give up today probably in my life i'll never get an opportunity to start my my own because the delta of you know losing something was would have been so high i i you know stuck to my guns and and then then landed up you know uh, today we are in we are on third fund right uh, we also exactly. have, we also a micro fund Uh, with seven portfolio company in uk right which is which is you know something very commanding right and then we have you know this uh, new fund which we have invested already in six companies so so you have to take decision sometime in life right what were the name options for fund one before you chose unicorn fund one oh i i i you know my uh, fund one right so yeah i mean unicorn right the name No, yeah. no, unicorn to is is now but you know actually i named it uh, you know dev ventures dev so, so i picked up first three letter of development right development venture so i picked up hmm. dev and that also coincided with the first three letter of my daughter's name oh. but uh, when when i started you know evangelizing people say dev 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 actually became dev and dev if you look at in you know, our you know mythological goes to you know god and she and i said was it to gadbad ho jayega was you know it's not <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's 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 not you know what i i i i wanted to be development right we were all talking about startups right development development and those were the days when where you know people were just you know started talking about unicorn right so i said was hamara objective to yahi hai ki aap check likho and that company should be unicorn right those days mm. so unicorn we had was uh, was in mobi right in mobi ke baad mein flipkart and then we know we have long list today yeah. 30 companies i so so that time you know uh, it was it was you know uh, only in mobi and flipkart ka story aana shuru hua tha right uh, 2000 you know 13 14 if you look at right usi time pe sab puchte the what is flipkart what is flipkart right the, what is what is you know all about snap deal तो फिर हमको वो बहुत अच्छा लगा नाम तो हम बोले चलो देव हटाओ एंड देन वी फाइल फॉर वी फाइल फॉर यूनिकॉर्न एंड आई सेड यूनिकॉर्न तो बहुत जेनरिक है तो वी एडेड यूनिकॉर्न इंडिया वेंचर्स एंड वी डिट रियलाइज यू नो लाइक द नेम यू नो वॉज सो मच लाइक सो नाउ वी हैव नाइन यूनिकॉर्न वी हैव यू नो वाइट यूनिकॉर्न वी हैव वी हैव यू नो यूनिकॉर्न विथ क्यू सो देर सो मेनी यूनिकॉर्न बट officially uh, unicorn india venture was the first you know but there's only venture. one unicorn on which anil joshi setting which is that's the one that matters <laughs> nahi, nahi, nahi. but i can say this is the first you know official uh, fund which got registered with name unicorn in india 
that much i, I can I, you know, very much claim but otherwise we have so many unicorns in the country sure. but that's a great question from sandeep arora i'll put it on the screen uh, yeah. i'm slightly curious and hence asking listening up to anil speak feels like raising money for a fund is equally tough as raising money for a startup is that so i, I have an answer but I, i want to hear yours is it equally yeah. tough to raise equally tough <laughs> boss uh, i don't know whether it's equally but See, I'll give you one example, right? Somebody comes to me to raise half a million dollar, right? And my fund is sixty million dollar. That entrepreneur might have met hundred investors to raise that half a million dollar. Now you can yeah. imagine how many how many investor I would have met to raise my sixty million dollar. <laughs> exactly. I I I think it is infinitely more difficult to raise money for a VC fund. Uh, frankly speaking you know i want to be candid on this show because there may be somebody who would, would like to you know start and i want their journey to be you know shorter than my journey uh, fund fund business is a continuous fund raise right it is either you are raising money for yourself or you are assisting your portfolio company raising you know money uh, i thought you know you raise money you deploy money you will have some time to relax no that's not the life Mm-hmm. uh i am continuously on road uh, either i am raising money for our fund or i am raising money for you know our portfolio company and that's the life right by the time i will be done with my fund to fundraise i would be already on road to conceptualize my for, for my fund 3 right so so it's not easy it's not easy but i sh- i should tell you it's a fun right uh when your passion matches with your you know uh, liking and work you know you enjoy you you enjoy you know that that you know long journey and that's what you know keeps us driving otherwise it's not easy to hear so many noes right when you're raising money an infinitely more number of noes you know <laughs> and probably a lot more direct than the noes we give to our we give to founders right that's what i felt <laughs> i i never say no to founders I I never say no to founders. So I'll ask you one last question before we move to rapid fire. Sure. Uh, what kind of founders do you like to see? So we you know obviously we answered the other question. What the kind you do not uh, filter out? But what are the kind of founders you really like to back? The guys you really are excited to work with? So, so see normally you know uh, Anirudh, you want to you know see people who are somewhat like you. right uh, at least you know better than you if not like you, not to you right i will not say i am a fighter but i am a fighter right i don't want to give up things easily unless until i have given a try right that's the nature i come from i think even you would have noticed most of the ventures have failed for two reason one you know company have run out of money yeah right they will shut down because they don't have money to pay and and the natural choice is to wind up the company the second company which have gone down the tube is one where you know entrepreneur give up right mm. they lose their fighting spirit they lose their killer string you know uh, you know string i want to fund people who have fighter spirit right i don't mind them failing but you know uh, you know play till last ball right yeah. don't give up you never know kya ho sakta hai koi aadmi ho sakta hai 6 ki 6 wide fake de 6 ki 6 no ball kar de आपको मौका लगे छः की छः बॉल को यू नो सिक्स मारने का यू नो आई एम जस्ट यू नो गिविंग यू नो वेरी ऑड एग्जांपल बट माय पॉइंट इज दैट यू नो यू नेवर नो हाउ थिंग्स चेंजेस राइट फॉर एग्जांपल वन ऑफ आवर कंपनी इन पोर्टफोलियो आई थॉट यू नो इवन दे वुड बी हैविंग टफ टाइम बिकॉज कौन रिसर्च करवाएगा राइट दे आर इन यू नो दे आर इन ब्रांड प्रसेप्शन एंड दे माइन यू नो डाटा विच इज़ अवेलेबल ऑन वेब एंड यू नो दे गिव यू नो मीनिंगफुल इंफ्लुस टू Uh, businesses to take decision, but yeah, actual. So, yeah, was that lockdown when nobody was able to move out. The company still needed data. From where they can get was Anil Uttar or tweet kar raha hai. Anil Joshi LinkedIn pe betha hai, right? Somebody else is on Facebook. Somebody is doing blog, and people were venting out, right? TikTok bhi khatam ho gaya. So, on the only medium was you know, uh, you know, was online media, and this company had expertise in that. Oh my God, unka to business double ho gaya. Right? Wow. so never give up right uh, and another thing i want to tell you know look for people you know who could adjust to the opportunity and come up with a product which helps you stay alive another example i'll give you before you go to you know uh, 
uh, you know i uh, you know rapid fire yes, one of the day uh, during this lockdown i had to you know uh, get some medicine and i went to medical store because medical store was the only one which was open right and and then when you know slowly lockdown you know uh, started getting opening up you know you remember other than medical store you know uh, you know groceries and vegetable right mm. uh, stores were also allowed to stay open i saw cobbler selling vegetables here imagine mochi aapka tomatoer aur pyaaz aur aloo bech raha hai i was walking and again saw there was you know i know there's a small boutique shop right uh, you know where I, i know i was going for this you know medicine and that boutique shop have you know converted their entire shop into vegetable shop right so you had chance to sit back relax do nothing and keep gripping ki kuch nahi ho raha hai mere ko ghar mein band kar diya hai i think there were people who took chance who took risk calculated risk they were in business and they were comfortable yeah they they, they made you know they met their end to end meet so so i would like to back people who are fighter Right. That's such a that's such a great way to you know summarize it. That you know that so many times people are so close, so close to solving it, and they give up, and they don't even realize they were just one inch away. You know, and I think yeah. I think because your career started in marketing and a mine and door to door sales, we always yeah. know that there is just one more call, one more door. Yeah. Can you just knock on that one more door, and the answer could be right there, right? And and uh, you might have given up. So, so Anil, I mean, and and there's so many questions. I'm gonna you're gonna have to take some of these personally, unfortunately. But you know, <clears throat> really enjoyed the conversation. We'll we'll try to take a couple more questions before we end today. But uh, but let me explain the rapid fire rules, right? I've got a list of about ten, twelve questions for you. I'll go through them one by one, right? Just like uh, and and you give the first answer that comes to mind, and, and and no thinking, right? And no thinking. You're not gonna take. 30 seconds to make it politically correct okay so we're going to go straight up <laughs> so so are you ready should we go yeah yeah done okay cool first question is the peter thiel question one thing you that that you know to be true but very few people agree with you on it you know that i i know how to invest in startups oh wow <laughs> that's a wow people don't people don't believe that <laughs> that's that's <laughs> wow i am surprised to meet even you didn't knew when you know you i spoke about mumbai angel right and i didn't know that you you obviously were an investor prior to mumbai angel absolutely right uh one piece of advice to founders about fundraising don't give up don't give don't up that's a really good yeah. it's the same thing you know have that fighter spirit uh who is your favorite superhero and why anurudh are nahi sir i acha why then why like know, i know your background i think you didn't had to be in the shoes but you have still you have still you know chosen to be here and you are trying to do best out of it you are inspiration to you know many people who can actually come and you know you know you don't need to be doing this you can very well write, write keep writing check you know to several you know company but you yourself raising and see that you know you could keep support you know uh, aspiring businesses so oh, why not That wow, sir! I, I that did not know that I'm already a superhero. No, 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 no. So that's the first thing came to my mind. I know I'm not applying my, you know, not don't want to diplomatically write. If you could pick the brain of one person for 24 hours, ask them anything you ever wanted. Who would it be? Maybe I would like to spend time with my daughter here. Prajal, my. Oh wow! And what questions would you like to ask her? कुछ भी पूछूंगा कुछ भी जवाब देगी सुनते रहूंगा मैं उसको उसको पूछो वो कुछ ना कुछ बोलती है तो वुड बी फन समटाइम्स द चाइल्ड्स यू नो हैविंग अ चाइल्ड्स माइंड इन बिजनेस इज सो इंपॉर्टेंट राइट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन स्केलिंग बिफोर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी और प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी बिफोर स्केलिंग सेकंड चॉइस profitability before scaling one thing you would like to change about the indian startup ecosystem and and these are go- these are going to be golden words stop creeping yaar ha i <laughs> startup step karte hain kabhi kabhi when do you get your best work done morning or night ah uh, engineer hu raat mein hota hai what company in your anti portfolio hurts you the most the one that really hurts yaar ye to karna hi chahiye tha chalo main do batata hu ek to ola hai uh, hmm which i think if i could have made attempt i could have invested it's not that i rejected but i think uh, 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 me you know not taking you know enough uh, efforts i think uh, you know, 
I could have always told Bhavish to take my check, right? Those mm. days, not now. Abhi to, abhi to he, you know, he, I can take check. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> those different another days. Company, another company, uh, Fresh Desk. Oh wow, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, when Girish was raising money, Excel was way ahead of it, and I think angels were also looking at investing in him. And uh, we took, you know. Too long to take decision to you know on board, and uh, Excel was quite fast in writing that you know small check, and rest is the history, right? Wow! Uh, certain... And what a return! What a return on investment! If you were to be convicted for a crime, what it, what would it be? Yeah, I have done tire puncture in the car, and I have not said anything. That's what I'm saying. It was a big deal. I still remember I was kid. Uh, I was scolded. गाड़ी खड़ी थी उनके मैंने सब टायरों की हवा निकाल दी. सब अच्छा चारों की चार. हाँ हाँ उस टाइम पे बहुत गुस्सा आ रहा था मेरे को. I was kid those days. And uh, you know of course they had all reason to be furious because उस टाइम पे you know this mechanic system was not that robust. Hmm. I'm talking. You can imagine I am 46. उस टाइम पे I might be uh, 12, 13, 14. यही कुछ होगा. Right? Almost almost 30 years back. तो तो वो वो कुछ होता तो, मतलब होना चाहिए क्राइम था वो. I know, I, <laughs> गाड़ी चलाते हो तो समझ में आता है है निकलती तो क्या क्राइम सेकंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन इफ योर लाइफ वाज टू बी मेड इनटू अ मूवी हु वुड प्ले यू आप सर आई एम नॉट एन एक्टर आप सुपर हीरो एक्टर योर वेर आर यू टेकिंग मी इन माय करियर <laughs> यार यार सुशांत सिंह यू नो धोनी बन सकता है तो अनिरुद्ध जोशी क्यों नहीं बन सकता जवाब गलत मिलेगा ना आपको वॉट बुक आर यू रीडिंग राइट नाउ आर यू रीडिंग और और इधर इधर बहुत बहुत सारी 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 बुक्स पढ़ी है मैं ये पढ़ You know biography or autobiography of successful people. कोई भी पढ़ लो. You will enjoy. It's all always inspirational, right? Ronnie Spruce वाला का मैं पढ़ता हूँ, पढ़ते रहता हूँ. It's very interesting the way he started and the way he built, right? This one. It's a very interesting. Dream it was a good one. Right. So Actually, so, sir, I, I would right. credit me staying in India to an to an autobiography that I read, which was Simply Fly, Simply oh. Fly by Captain Gopina. Otherwise, I would I was quitting India and going back to the US. So with that rapid fire is over. Thank you, Anil, so much. This was this was a great rapid fire. So these were some new questions we had added to the rapid fire flow. Uh, now I, I think uh, instead of taking more questions, we are already over time. But you know, any final thoughts, Anil, about uh, you know Yaar, uh, that you could leave the entrepreneurs uh, with with the founders who are logged in right now. So I I think I I what I believe uh, the audience whom I am not able to see. uh these are all you know young entrepreneur or to be entrepreneur or you know uh, startups uh, from various part of country or world uh, i would say you know uh, this is you know best of uh, best time for them to you know uh, get started if you are stuck in your business you know don't give up i think uh, this uh, you know problem we are all going through a problem and uh, me as an uh, you know entrepreneur believe whenever there is a problem you have opportunity uh it's only up to you how you want to convert this opportunity into business right so best time uh, you know uh, entire world have become shorter smaller because of digitization we all you know uh, doing business sitting from home in fact i was just talking to anirudh about our industry and he shared some very interesting you know fact and uh, have inspired me right uh, i was you know i was with some kind of blockage in my mind so don't give up i think it's the best time uh, we all will you know pass through this uh, you know tough time and we will see the brighter sun as we normally see every day every morning right so that's my thoughts and uh, wish you all luck thanks anirudh having me for this talk show thank you anil for being here i i don't think i could have a better opening for season 2 of the money talks than this i really really enjoyed i think 
i learned so much thank you so much good bye. night everybody bye